Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going over a formation guide and we're gonna know how to beat the 5 1 2 2 formation, which I have five defenders, one defender midfield center, two midfield centers, and two central strikers. Although most formations don't work against it, there is a slight trick to it. So let's get to it. And the reason why I'm pushing out this now is because I am playing against it today and I say why not? Why not? I faced this formation before this season and that is the evidence that I'm gonna use to show you how to beat this formation. Yeah. Alright, so if I can remember correctly is this. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. This is a formation that we are playing against today. The 5 1 2 2 formation. May no this this is not the formation to beat. This this is just the formation I set up to beat this team today. Because I have this match first against this team. And I'm using this formation to beat it. And the reason why is because it cancels out everything and I can use my wingers to defeat that team. Easy, easy. So, let's get to the part where the results are and I sh it should be here. This is the team I play against with that formation. So, apart from the match, the team... Well, not fairly equal. That team was can a little bit stronger than me, but... The assistant manager says great victory operation on the training ground is paying off. Compared to our opponent, we had more scoring opportunity. Great game for man of the match, Paul Rodgers, that my keeper, and Thomas Muller scored amazing goal. So the highlights: there's a yellow card for them. I scored in 11 minutes. I scored in 23 minutes with a midfield center. I scored in the 30th minute with the attack if you send it as that's one and I scored in the 39 minute with the attack if you left well, I got a yellow card and I did two substitutions and for the stats I did have more possession than them did have more total shots did have more stress on target and more shot efficiency pass was we have more passing because we pass currently, which is dumbbell flanks. Two free kicks, uh, all those other things doesn't matter. So, this is the formation we used to beat it. And I'll tell you why in a second. And see, this is the formation. So, we use three defender centers. And there's a reason for that. We just, we don't... Well, we don't change from three defender centers to four defenders at the back for no reason at all. It is a reason. And the main reason I use three defender centers is because, particularly the way this formation is set up, we won't get any attack or any too much attacking from any wing players. And those wing players aren't going to be going up so far, so everything is good. The only way these defenders come into a play is if they play in the era of defender Miffy right, defender Miffy left. So the three defender centers is crucial in my situation. We need the defender Miffy center to organize things. Because it's going to be the same way. He will play right here. Right here in the middle. And from me being right here in the middle. He can play to his teammates. Which are the two midfield centers here. And each two midfield centers. Have their outlets. And they can score from there. One of the main reasons why this is effective. Is because. It's set up like the. 
the 451 V style. Only thing we have attack midfield center coming into the center. So what that does is that prevent the team from being weak in the middle. So once I have that and I attack on both wings, it's clearly a win for us. And I'm sorry I sound this way. I I've been sick for a while now and it's barely passing. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.